Dragon's Domain. Mm, you know, Space 1999, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that Space episode, which is famously scary and is often uh, compared to, well, what alien horror movie do you think it might be compared to? Sort of giving it away there. Well, it's a bit alien, isn't it? Is that what you're yeah, It is for? a bit it is alien-like. In space, yeah, yeah. no one now can that... hear you scream. Well, exactly, yeah. there you go. But it, actually, there's no direct connection there, mm. but there is a direct connection to Alien and Jerry Anderson, which stretches back to the Super Marionation era, would you believe? Get away. Yeah. Well, no, well, I'm going to finish this fab fact first on the away. podcast, and I'll get away at okay. the end. So, Thunderbirds Are Go, yep. the film mm-hmm. from 1966, the Zero X travels to Mars and encounters some rather scary aliens, the rock snakes. You know, the ones, I mean, that are all coiled up and then they raise up and they've got big red eyes and they spit kind of fireball things. Yeah, my agent, yeah. Well, they were designed by Derek Meddings and sculpted and built by Roger Dickin. Uh Uh-huh. Roger Dickin also created two alien monsters that were seen attacking Thunderbirds 1 and 3 for photos taken for the TV21 comic. Oh. Some famous photos there. Right. It was a strip called Blazing Danger. Mm Mm-hmm. But after Century 21, after Thunderbirds, he left to work on 2001 A Space Odyssey for Kubrick with Brian Johnson. Right, yeah. And he created creatures for other notable film companies, such as Amicus, Tygon, Mm -hmm. and Hammer. Right, yes. And in 1979, he was hired to produce a pair of nasty critters for some little tiny movie called... uh, Alien. Oh, a pair of nasty critters. So that would be Sigourney Weaver and Ian Holm. Oh, ouch! Ah. Gosh, someone's feeling a bit sassy today. Claws aren't are they? out. No, no. Well, speaking of claws, he built the face hugger. Oh, wow. And designed and built and operated the chest burster thing that erupts oh, yeah. from John Hurt's torso. Great. Nice. So there you go. So if you're watching Alien, keep in mind that that little chest burster has a distant cousin. In the Thunderbirds Argo rock snakes. <laughs> and there is actually a tiny, tiny bit of a resemblance. Yes, no, so I know that's what you the, mean. the style that Roger Dickin brought. How and that's the connection between Super Marionation and Alien. <laughs>